What's up guys? Iceman here. So check this out. This is one of my Godzilla figures. It's by NECA. It's Super Toad. Now I've been wanting to get the King of the Monsters version of Godzilla by NECA that is infused with atomic radiation and shit on his dorsal plates and so forth. That one looks epic, but I don't have that one yet. And then I also have this older iteration of Godzilla. Maybe this is a toy, I believe it's from the 70s, so it must be a few generations in, in terms of Godzilla's model and design. But yeah, pretty cool toys nonetheless. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about Mechagodzilla and how it's pretty much confirmed that he's going to be in Godzilla vs. Kong. Something very concerning about Mechagodzilla is how he can fire a freaking laser from his eyes. This laser historically has been known to do devastating damage toward Godzilla, frying the shit out of him on command. So that's one of my concerns. It shoots right out of his eyes and it was like instantaneous with its speed. It was fast as fuck. It was much faster than Godzilla's atomic breath the legendary version of Godzilla anyway. So I feel like Mechagodzilla is going to have the upper hand when it comes to their special abilities. Because here's the problem. Godzilla, granted he's strong, he's not very fast, however. He has a nice, sharp carapace about him with his dorsal plates being sharp as toads. But other than that, he doesn't have much going for him other than he's a decent grappler. So here's the thing, Mechagodzilla, not only is he able to emit a freaking laser from his eyes, but he can also blast missiles from his hands. All right? And these missiles have been known to have guiding capabilities about them. So Mechagodzilla could basically blast these missiles at the ground near Godzilla's feet and knock Godzilla flat on his ass. Then he could emit his laser from his eyes and fry the fucking shit out of Godzilla, man. That's my concern. So it makes sense to me that Mechagodzilla will most likely be the nemesis in this film. However, I believe it's also pretty much confirmed that there's going to be a new Titan, one of which might be an enemy for Godzilla vs. Kong. An enemy to Godzilla and Kong. So it makes me wonder, are Godzilla and Kong going to have to team up against Mechagodzilla? And if so, is there going to be another Titan that they're going to have to fight against? Including Mechagodzilla? That would be a very difficult battle, to my understanding. Now, fortunately, uh, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, Kong will be wielding a giant axe of stone. Now, this might not be throughout the entire film. In fact, I don't think he'll possess this axe until later. But nonetheless, I think this axe is going to be significant in the way of who wins in this fight. And I'm not entirely speaking in reference of Godzilla vs. Kong's fight, but I'm speaking in regards to Godzilla and Kong teaming up at the end and fighting whoever they have to fight, which most likely will be Mechagodzilla. And I think that's going to be the deciding factor. In fact, I have to actually have an axe right here. Check this out. I showed this off in my last video. So, I think Kong is going to be able to murder Mechagodzilla with this axe. Because the problem is, Godzilla, he had sharp claws. But what are those going to do against the steel that Mechagodzilla is made of? And probably other infused titanium-like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not going to be able to scratch that shit, I would bet. It's probably scratch-resistant, like uh, those covers you put on your phones. Although that's bullshit, right? Those aren't really scratch-resistant. He's, Mechagodzilla is probably scratch resistant, is what I mean to say. In which case, they're going to need something with blunt force to fight him. So if Kong 
like knocks the shit out of Mechagodzilla with an axe, he might be able to kill it or destroy it. So I think the axe is going to be the deciding factor in this battle. They're going to need something with blunt force to destroy the mechanisms within Mechagodzilla. And I think the axe is going to do the job. But yeah, nonetheless, there are many concerns with Mechagodzilla. Some iterations of Mechagodzilla were actually capable of flight. So, obviously, neither Godzilla or Kong can fly. So this is going to be another severe issue that they're going to have to face. But let me know in the comment section below, how much of a threat is Mechagodzilla going to be against Godzilla and Kong? Another thing that Mechagodzilla could do is uh, blast like shackles from his chest region that would attach to other titans and then send electrical forces through them and just zap the shit out of them. So that's another concern. You see, Mechagodzilla has these attributes about him that I don't think Godzilla can compete with. So Godzilla's going to need Kong. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this shit. And uh, are you with me on this? That it's going to be difficult for Godzilla to face Mechagodzilla on his own. And if you want to talk shit, talk shit in the comments section below. I'm the Iceman. More videos to come.